Here's a very quick theorem to prove. If matrix A has two identical rows, then its determinant is equal. Let row R and row S of A be identical. If matrix B is obtained by interchanging row R and row S of A, we know that the determinant of B is negative their determinant of A. But A equals B because I interchange the same two rows. I get the same matrix. Hence, well, okay, so, so, so the determinant of A is equal to the determinant of B. Hence, now we know that this equals that. Well, this is how I choose to write the determinant of B, that determinant of B, because <laughs> determinant of A equals the determinant of B. And I choose to write the right-hand side exactly like it says. Now, these are real numbers. And these are, this fact has been coming up a lot in my videos. If two real numbers just differ by a sign, if two numbers are equal and they differ because they are equal and they differ by a sign, then they must be zero. Therefore, the determinant of A is zero. If you have two rows that are identical then the determinant of that matrix must be zero. And I use the last theorem that we proved, that if you interchange two rows of a matrix to get matrix B, matrix B is obtained by interchanging row R and S of A, we know that the determinant of B and the determinant of A differ by a sign. But if you interchange the same two rows that are identical, it turns out that B is A. So the determinant of A and B equals B. So I just choose to write the determinant of B this way and the determinant of negative A that way, and I still have those two horizontal lines in between. If two real numbers are equal and they differ by a sign, these values are, that value is zero. That completes this video. If you like videos like this, please subscribe to my channel because all I do is prove theorems. Please leave a comment in the comment section. Tell your classmates about this YouTube channel. And see you in the next video. Watch and learn.